Okay, um, so let's look at this problem here. It says a uh, piece of unknown substance weighs 44.7 grams and requires 2110 joules to increase its temperature from 23.2 degrees Celsius to 89.6 degrees Celsius. And it asks two questions. What's the specific heat of the substance? And if it's one of the substances, substances found in the table, what is its likely identity? So let's go ahead and try this problem together. So in order to do this problem, we need to uh, know an equation, right? The specific heat equation. Does anybody know what that is? Yes. Yeah. Very good, yeah. So Q equals what? MC. Yeah, delta T. Very good. Okay. So, in this particular problem, right, it, we're looking for C, the specific heat. So the first thing we're going to want to do, well, we could do, um, let's go ahead and label what the problem gives us first, just to make sure. So it gives us the mass, right, so that's 44.7 grams, and it gives us the heat which is Q, 2110 joules. And it gives us the initial temperature, 23.2 degrees C. And then the final temperature, 89.6 degrees C. Okay, so Hopefully, by looking at this, right, we can see that we need specific heat. And, of course, part A asked us to solve for that. So in order to do that, what do we have to do? We have to rearrange this equation to solve for C. So what would the new equation be? So C equals Q divided by M. Yeah, delta T. Very good. Okay. So do we have all of those numbers? Well, we don't have delta T yet, but we have the numbers that comprise delta T, right? So we can do that. So remember, let's just go over here and remind ourselves, delta T equals TF minus TI. And, now, and of course, now we have those numbers, TF being 89.6 degrees Celsius, minus 23.2 degrees C. So did anybody get an answer for that? What is that? 66.4, right? Sixty-six point four degrees Celsius. So now it's really kind of a plug and chug problem. Does everybody see that? Are we okay with that? Okay, so the way we want to do is just look for those numbers and plug them into the equation. So Q, 2110 joules. Mass, yeah, 44.7 grams. And then delta T is 66.4 degrees Celsius. And just everybody take a look up here. What are the units that we're going to get out of this? Joules per gram degree Celsius, right? And that's the units for specific heat. Is everybody okay with what we've done? Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and solve it. 2110 divided by 44.7 and divide that by 66.4. And how many um, sig figs are we going to go to? Three, right? Okay, so we go 0 0.711, right? Joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay, and does that match any of the substances that we found on the table? So yeah, so how close is it to silicon? It's 
So let's go back and look at the table. So at 0 0.712 grams per, or joules per gram degree Celsius, we can pretty much say those are the same, same substance, okay, if we're comparing to the table. Is everybody okay with what we've done there? Okay. Any questions before we cut this off? <laughs>